if you're using this site to download the image, uh, make, be, be aware that there's different types of images on the site. It was made for developers to, to test out a range of different types of images. Some of these images are in WebP format. It's made for uh, to test faster download times. Uh, some of them have fairly significantly reduced uh, image quality. So we reduced the image quality and kept the, the actual resolution the same in order to, to test a few different things. So if you reduce the image quality, um, you would see a fairly significant size reduction from 8.6 megs down to, let's say if it's 20% of the quality, it's a 314K. So you can reduce the size of the image quite a bit. And the quality is uh, somewhat decreased. So this tab at the top, quality test, uh, shows that. Another thing about this site is the, the rotation is done by a set of image viewers. We're using A-Frame. This site has a 360 viewer list. So there's a whole bunch of 360 viewers that you can use. We're using A-Frame. One of the reasons we're using A-Frame is that it's fairly forgiving. There is something called XF data or XMP data that's embedded into the image. And I want to explain that briefly. On your desktop, when you download the image, if you click on it, depending on your operating system, it, it may just open up as a with the uh, 360 navigation built in. So how does the computer know that it's a 360 image and not a normal photo? Okay. So on this system, I'm running something called GIMP, which is like Photoshop. If you look at the image metadata, so under image, metadata, view metadata. This is using a tool called GIMP. You can see that there's a whole bunch of information here that's embedded into the image. And this image is 3,584 pixels by 7,168 pixels. So it's fairly large. Uh, this might be difficult to see, so I'm going to use a, a terminal so it's a better view of it. So I'll use a tool called XF Tool to view the XF data. So this is all information that's embedded into the image. At the top here, you can see that there is a parameter for protection type, and this thing is set to equate rectangular. If the viewer program senses or sees that it's equate rectangular, it will display it as 360. There is some other information here about the orientation. For the purpose of this tutorial, you do not have to deal with the metadata the, or also called the EXF data or the XMP data. The examples here will, will work for you with this viewer that we're going to use called A-Frame. So even if you edit the image and strip out the metadata, it will still work. So right now, just go to the uh, site and get the media. 360 media, 01, 
bit.ly slash 360media01 or gallery.theater360.guide. So grab the media and join me for the next video.